course, General Motors says that they can't make the Volt because they don't have the batteries. Well, it turns out we're not, you know, having a hard time keeping up with all these cars at all. In fact, you know, we're probably going to have more power than most of them. Let's see if we can blast out of here and just, you know, um, I need to have a little sound maker on this thing. Pop, pop, pop. It's maybe a big thing that went something to remind these people that another car is coming. So it looks like we're keeping up okay, you know, and it's, we're not exactly running out of juice or anything. And these cars are just, of course, we're going in the wrong direction. I had to get it from the freeway going in the wrong direction. So eventually I'll have to turn around and go in that. That long line of mess cars over there. But meanwhile, you know, I'm speeding along here and I'm keeping up with the crowd and you know, we're going about, I guess, 70 miles an hour, and you know, I guess it's not, we're not going 90. But it's it's a good car for commuting. I mean, if you want to commute in a car like this, and you know, you can go in the carpool lane. Like here, I'm just now going in the carpool lane. Of course, it's slower than the others right now, but you can drive in the carpool lane. Sometimes it saves you, um, it saves you time. So we're zooming along still and you know and we're keeping up with all this traffic with our little tiny electrons and our big old extension cord. We're kind of outrunning our extension cord now and just zooming along here. But we're not finding it hard to keep up with the traffic, so I, I don't know why General Motors would say this car doesn't exist. You know, it's, I've been commuting in these cars now for 10 years. Uh, from here to downtown LA, to Santa Ana, Eagle Rock, Century City, you know, Santa Monica. So it's not impossible to drive with these cars, you know, they, they do exist, uh, I hate to tell you. But out of all these cars, I'm the only one that is running on sunlight from solar power. All the rest are running on sunlight from petroleum ages ago. And they're spewing out all kinds of exhaust fumes, which are then going on to places to our right, blowing inland into kids' lungs, into people's of all sorts' lungs, causing health problems. And nobody is nobody picks up that cost. The refineries don't pick it up. Car makers don't pick it up. Who picks up that cost as the taxpayer? And we're seeing, you know, lots and lots of cars here. Just look at all these cars. Every one of them is unnecessary. Every one of them could be an electric car. Every one of them could really be, you know, um, could be um, people on mass transit even. And you see bifurcated here on the left hand side are those people that have more than one person per car. And all those other cars, you know, the ones in the other lanes, have only one person per car. So we're moving about two to 3,000 pounds of steel for each person. And over there, we see there's the double. That's the refinery. That's what's spewing stuff into the air. And in daytime, they don't flare. But at nighttime, you see the evil stuff coming out. If you could see it, if there were something lighting. And look, those hypocrites, they have an American flag. They're burning Arab oil, and they have an American flag. What traitors. Well, we're still keeping up here. We've got all kinds of signs and cars, all kinds of cars. And we're still keeping up with all this traffic. So commuting is not a problem in a car like this. <laughs> if you have a solar system on your house, you can charge up this car at nighttime using credits from your daytime production of electric. So essentially you drive for free. You don't have to pay anything other than the cost of the car and the cost of the solar system. The amortized cost of a solar system is less than the cost of the electric power that it replaces, the utility electric. So basically if you use your electric power to drive, charge up an electric car, pay off your solar system in about three years. The avoided cost of gasoline is used to pay for the solar system. And it's really kind of nice because the money that used to pay for gasoline 
Oh, and what a stink there is from these refineries. The money that used to go to pay for gasoline instead goes to pay for your solar system. I'm going to turn around now and go back and talk to a Toyota dealer maybe and see whether they have any plug-in cars. Oh,